to my Fendi eye. Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a set of nails using the tips and the gel polish that um, Credio kindly sent me um, the other week. If you saw my video I absolutely raved about these tips so I sized them up um, to go onto my nails. And I thought I'd bring you along and see what design I turned out. So these are almond shape and they are absolutely stunning. They are such good quality. They go all the way up to a size zero. Let me get one out for you. So that is what they are like. So they are etched half etched as well so you didn't have to bother about that they are super thin and flexible and just really really good quality so i'm going to be using these two colors from the set which is c109 and c108 which are these two absolutely gorgeous colors but then just as a reminder the other four colours that came in the set were these. So we had like a, a ready pink, we had a bright orange, um, a nice yellow and a pink. But I want to use the blue and like the teal. Well, I think that's a perfect Tiffany colour, as I said on my last video. And I thought, no, we start, we're in spring, come into summer. Might do some flowers, might do some stamping as well. So let's jump in, shall we? The thumb and the pinky, I'm going to use a nude colour just because I want to do a bit of a French on those. And I'm going to be putting some crystals or flowers or a bit of both, who knows? see how the mood takes me i got a kind of idea um but not fully firmed up sometimes i just like to see where my mind and creativity takes me i'm gonna let that self level a bit before i pop it in towards the lamp also i'm gonna be using these little tiny mica or micro um, flakes from Spark Supplies UK called Forget Me Not because they go perfectly with both of these colours. Absolutely stunning. Right, so I'm just going to put some blue and green on to ombre together. So I'm going to start with the blue first at the top. It halfway down, and then the green. All I'm going to do now is take the color that's already on there and I'm going to push it up to meet the blue, and that way we won't contaminate our brush. So before I go in with the ombre brush, I like to take a dotting tool and use that just to start smudging and merging those colours together. Um, this makes um, the ombre then much easier to do. So sometimes I will take my ombre brush and pull the colour down and then pull the colour up. Um, again, just to help mixing that colour in the middle before I go in with my ombre brush and to side to side. But you just have to remember that your strokes must be really, really light, um, light as a feather to get the best effects. And then I'm just going to go ever so lightly back and forth just then to blend the colour. So don't forget this is your first layer so it doesn't have to be perfect and what helps is because I'm going to be putting flakes over it it doesn't matter if the ombre doesn't come out perfect 
so I think that's okay for now. I'm just going to try and even out this green a bit because we do have a bit of brush strokes in it. But this gel polish self levels anyhow, um, so you don't have to worry too much about that. So I'm not going to put that straight into the lamp yet. I'm going to wait for that to self-level. I'm going to repeat the process on the second nail and put them in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. So now it's time for a second coat. So again, just repeating the process, putting on the two colours, giving it a little mix with my dotting tool and then go over with the ombre brush just to create that nice flawless ombre and again letting it um, settle and even out for a couple of seconds before I put it into the lamp because this really does help um, having a nice smooth finish and it evens out any of the brush strokes from the ombre brush and yeah, so once happy, then obviously that goes in for a full cure. So I'll um, speed this process up a bit and put some music on and I'll see you at the next step. Um, I've got to say I found doing a ombre really easy on these tips. And again, I'm just putting that down to the quality Um and how these tips were made but yeah um i know i've said it at the beginning uh, but i am really really impressed with these tips and i'm definitely going to get some in different shapes <laughs> Here they are, they've still got their tacky layer. So now I am going to use um, Forget Me Not. Um, these are super tiny and soft, like micro mylar flakes. Um, and I'm just going to put these into the tacky layer. I'm just making sure that it is all nice and flat. And do exactly the same on the second nail. And here are the both nails full of pretty sparkles. So I'm going to take the matte coat now and put it over the top. And I love the iridescent glitters over a matte top coat unfortunately um part of my footage in doing the smile line got corrupted so i used the um cheat way in putting some polish onto an old stamper and pressing the nails in and then i just finish it off then with a nice thin detailer brush to make sure I get the length and the depth of the smile line exactly how I want it. So I'm going to jazz those smile lines up with a bit of marble and in order to do this um, I laid some white down along with that blue and green colour. It is important that you have either a white or a black colour um, within your marble just to give it a bit of definition. 
So once I put the colours out onto my palette, I just use a dotting tool just to um, mix them together. But be careful, you don't want to mix it too much, otherwise it's just going to come out in a bit of a yeah mess and all the colours too merged together and you won't get that neat marble look. Also, I do put some blobs of those individual colours on the site as well, just in case I want um, some more of a particular colour as well. So that is a handy tip for you as well that I find really helpful and useful when I'm doing my marble. In order to get the best marble effect, it's always good to use like a blooming gel, a watercolour gel, a blossom gel um, is sometimes what they're called. Or you can even use base coat. So as it's such a small area, I've put some of um, my watercolour gel or blossom gel on my palette. And then I'm just using a fine detail brush just to put it around that smile line and that smile line <laughs> only. Apologies, um, Kobe wanted to stop by and say hello. Um, so yeah, you may have heard him in the background just now. But yeah, I just want to make sure that the marble is on the smile line only and not going on to any of that nude colour. Then usually I would take a ombre brush to transfer the marble onto the nail. But because it is such a small area, I am going to use a thin flat head brush, a bit like a petal brush, and then um, manipulate and add any bits of other colour with my fine detail brush. I'm going to repeat this for the other nail and give them a matte top coat. All that's left to do is to add some sparkles and other pretty things. So I've got a mixture of these flowers, some um, half cut pearls, opal crystals and clear crystals. So the nails that have the two French smile lines, I am going to do a corner cluster. And then the nail that is all nude, I am going to do a crystal cluster um, that's quite thin but spreads the length of the nail. And then I shall see you at the next step. Um, in future videos, um, please let me know if you would like me to keep more of the crystal placement in the videos. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, but also, I don't want to bore you either. So I usually just put um, a quick clip in and then show you the finished um, products but yeah if you wish me to switch it up a bit then yeah just let me know and can do that in future videos so now i'm going to give all the nails a top coat so i'm going to use a mix of shiny and matte so anything that has a nude background is going to be matte and anything that has colour on is going to be shiny so the two full nails with that lovely like glitter and micro mylar will be shiny and then the nails with the french tip so the body in the nude colour is going to be matte and then the french tip is going to be shiny and I really liked having the contrast between the two. So once that is all done and they've had a cure, I shall see you for the final reveal. Drum roll please and this is the finish set. I'm really pleased in how they turned out. I think they are quite cute. And I'm looking forward in wearing them. So again, big thank you to Credio for sending me the products through. 
really impressed and can't wait to use more of them. But that's everything for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hoyle Vow. Until next time. Bye. Bye.